Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. The journey continues. We see uh, one of the pens that Bobby sent with uh, the last order I uh, got from him from Etsy. And, you know, your first impressions is uh, it's a clear pen, gold trim. It's a piston fill. And unlike some of the other piston fillers, there's no lock or anything here at the top. It goes up and down very easily. And there's no real markings on it other than that. The cap unscrews. Two and a half turns, and we'll see some identifying features now. It's a wing sung. This is your classic super quality fine nib. As we look through this nice clear section and clear feed, we'll see that it's a, a pilot design nib with those, I call them wings, on the sides. So this pen is very reminiscent of a Pilot 78G. So let's explore that and some other pens that is similar to. So here are four pens from four different manufacturers, or at least branded with four different names. So we have your Wingsung Piston. This is a nice orange one here. Well, if you look closely at the clip, you notice this is a Wingsung, but it's labeled as a 3001. And it has those painted on bands, which is one of the traits that all these pens uh, have in common. And here's a, a nice red one, but it says a 275 on it, and it's a Luoshi, another brand I know very little about, but it's basically the same pen with just some different branding on it. Let's take a look and see what the nib says. Ah, the nib is branded. This is an interesting nib. It's a Lamy style nib. Hmm. So there are some inconsistencies. And then just for the sake of comparison, this is a real Pilot 78G, at least as far as I know. And it just has Japan around that band. I left a sticker on it. And if we unscrew it, we'll see that gray feed and that Pilot nib. This is a fine one. I got these in some of them with broads, you know, which are really stubs, and I use them in some of my 698s because they fit in the 698s. So that's just a little exploration. So we're going to digress into a little uh, Chris theory. My theory is, is that uh, because the 78G is a low-end pen, Pilot manufactured it in China, which means that the molds were in China, and just happened to find its way into a whole bunch of other pens. Uh, maybe, you know, there's no copyright infringement in China, best of my knowledge, so um, they don't really consider it espionage or stealing, it's just the way they do business. So the design shows up in a lot of pens. It's not my favorite design. I think the pen is lightweight. I think the section is, is on the smallest side that I can even try to use. But it is a popular pen, so let's delve into the piston fill, which I think is a really nice feature to add to this pen, and it didn't really affect the price that much. And yes, these pens can break. This was in my uh, Pens That Broke video, and this is a 659, so a lot of different model numbers that are all basically the same pen. And here's a green version of it. This is the, a Wingsung. I mean, it looks nice. Um, and it has a really looks just like a pilot feed there on the back. So it's a design that has uh, been around for a long time and I think it'll stay around for a long time. I pulled out the nib and feed. Pulls out very easily, very easy friction fit. Because I do want to play around with nibs. So here's that bet nib that Bobby sent me. You know, and that's the classic pilot design nib. 
I have here a nib I pulled out of a 78G just to show you how they are the same. And the feeds are carved to fit those wings there. So the nib just fits in one spot. So that's one thing that this design accommodates is uh, keeping the nib in the same spot. In my course of dealing with Wing Song, uh, the 69H used to come with an extra nib. So here's an extra fine and, and fine that I have. You know, and these have the sections that clear feeds in them. So in theory, I could also use one of these if I felt that the nib that's there is not performing properly. And I also have this medium version, Wing Sung Medium, that would also work. And this has been ground to a cursive italic by Mike. I had a number of nibs ground by him. So we have a number to play around with with this pen. But first we're going to ink up with the original nib and see how it writes. Mm, what ink to put in. I haven't used this one for a while. I got a bunch of J. Orban inks uh, a couple of years ago. So let's uh, put this in the pen and see how it works. I'm expecting some nice brilliant color. Got a nice fill, but I didn't use the J. Herbon bottle because it was low on ink. So I poured it into a 10 milliliter sample bottle that I keep around. And maybe I got about four milliliters left, but I got a decent amount of ink in here, probably close to two milliliters. I also decided to do chromatography because I just find it sometimes it helps you understand the ink. And this is definitely a clear purple on the, on the blue side. So that's nice to see. So as we mentioned, this is a small pen. No need to do comparisons. I'm certain all of us have seen or handled our own 78Gs of some form. It's light. We'll give you those weights. And working over the camera is always a challenge. So one of the things that's nice about the pen, I should have showed you that when it was uh, uninked, is there's an O-ring here, which when you put the cap on, it seals up against that O-ring. It just makes it a pleasant feeling for that final quarter turn as you close the cap onto the barrel. And the clear feed and section certainly do show off that ink. It was a nice color choice on my part, I think. So let's see how this nib works before we play around with others. It's definitely a pen, post or not post, it doesn't really matter. I would probably post it just because you don't notice the cap there and, and you know where it is when you're ready to put it back on the pen. I think you noticed a few things in this writing sample. One, it's been uncapped for a while. So you got a little hard start there in the beginning. I'm bad at spelling. Yeah, there's a little skip there. But as we got the ink flowing, it, it, it writes well for a fine steel nib. I mean, it is super smooth. Um, I would be happy with this nib as is, and I'm not a, a fine or extra fine guy. As we saw up above here, with a little bit of pressure, the, the line is really fine. Put a little bit of pressure on it, opens up, puts down more ink. It's not that dry of a writer to begin with. 
And I think this ink really looks nice in this pen and on paper. So that's with no pressure. So that's always nice when a nib does that. And if you want to put some pressure on it, you'll get a little bit more ink flow. You know, so that's that's always nice when you can ex experience that. And like I said, if you do that right, it's a decent amount of ink. I think this ink is a little bit dry. I think I've heard J or Bond inks are a little dry. So next we're going to pop this nib out and put it into food A and see how that works with this ink. Here we have the food A nib in this Wing Sung pen. It fits well and that ink certainly does look nice with the clear feed and section. So this works as a food a nib, but it doesn't feel good on paper. It just has that bad feedback. Maybe if I spell right, it'd be better. So I noticed that the first time I wrote with a nib. Some people like to do three fills. As soon as a nib hits paper, I'm pretty certain whether I'm going to like it or not. And this one is no. I think it has to do with the way the plating is done. It just has a coarseness to it that is not pleasant. And I did try to smooth it. No effect. I wasn't very aggressive in my smoothing and I'm not going to be very aggressive because that's kind of like reshaping the nib. So this is going to get a zero because I'm not happy with it. So next we're going to try the medium nib that has been cut into a cursive italic and see how that works. So this is the medium wing sung that's been ground to a cursive italic. It's the grind that, that Mike likes to do. I've had a number of nibs ground by Mike. So let's see how this writes. I mean, this is a nice, soft nib. I've had this uh, medium pilot style nib in uh, six, nine, eights, and it's just a pleasure to use. So I would say that this might be my favorite nib in this pen, but it does have one issue. You can exhaust the feed. It took a lot of writing to do that, but it can be kind of frustrating and when I've, I, when I've had this pen in a 698, I've also had the same issue where it just stops writing. So I'm going to pop this nib out and open up the channel in the feed and see if that'll fix the problem. So a few viewers have asked about what I do to open up a feed to make the ink flow greater. And I use a scalpel. You can buy these on Amazon or eBay for a few bucks and they usually come with a lot of uh, extra blades. So 
If one gets dull, you can easily replace it. So I'm not going to physically do this over the camera because I do respect the fact that I like my skin to stay intact. But what I do is I just run the scalpel up and down this channel until I feel that it's opened it up a little bit. And you don't need much to really change the flow. So I'm going to do that off camera, reassemble the pen, and write with it. So uh, changing nibs in a pen inked up can be a little bit sloppy. So I use a paper towel to just kind of keep the ink on my fingers to a minimum. And as you can see, I have also worked on a few other pens today. So I've done my testing and uh, nib doesn't run dry anymore. So that's a good sign. And I was really pushing the pen, not necessarily something that you might experience, but let's just see how this works now. And you can see it's it's wetter, but not you know overly wet. So I didn't rate this pen. So we're going to rate it with the original nib, and I'm going to give it an 8.6. It's a good writer, and that original nib, I'm certain a lot of people would be very happy with. Some people aren't happy with fine and extra fine, so there are options. I don't recommend that, that food a nib, but uh, the medium pilot nib that uh, Wing Sung makes, and I think you can get it uh, from Bobby on, on eBay or other people. Just, um, you know, search for Wing Sung medium nib. So if I was to rate this pen with this nib in it, I would give it a 9.1. And one check, because this is... A very nice nib. Look at that fine line you can lay down and with a little bit of pressure and it does railroad. It's not perfect but you can see how quickly it recovers. So you can exhaust the feed even with my modifications and I wouldn't do more modifications to it because I don't want it any wetter than this. And if you're going to do serious flexing and serious ink flow just go slower. I mean that also applies to modern flex and again we're getting railroading so keep that in mind no matter what you do. You know when I originally had the problems uh, months ago with these medium nibs I talked to Bobby and he mentioned that the feed Wing Sung had two different clear feeds one for the extra fine nib and one for the fine nib and you needed to use the fine nib feed for the medium nib and this was a fine originally you know it does recover quickly and under normal writing nobody's going to really find uh, that problem some of my viewers uh, talk about the uh, medium nib running dry so you can open it up and it'll not dry out as quickly but it's not a perfect fix so hopefully you've enjoyed this little journey so thank you for watching May you enjoy your pens, enjoy your inks, enjoy writing, enjoy that look of ink on paper and, you know, stringing words together into sentences and creating thoughts and conversation is certainly one of the benefits of writing. So we've reached the end of this video. Until next time, bye for now. Write and enjoy life. And it works well. And I like the color. <laughs>